So what some African leaders they try make Africa a global economy, and that president is busy trying to edit his profile. Today, Adekunle don't enter a name. Tomorrow, Adebaba will enter a name. Ahmed, Bola, Adebaba, Tinubu, Tinubu, whatever, whatever, whatever. Why some African countries that are doing the most to make life easy for its citizens and not just its citizens, citizens of other African countries are only try to make life difficult for us. Check this out. We should not lose sight of our own continental market. Africans are the future of global tourism as our middle class continues to grow at a fast pace in the decades to come. We must work closely together with the partners like you to continue developing Africa into a premier destination for global travel. I hope you will take some time to visit Rwanda before you depart and that you will return here often. I wish you a productive preparations and I thank you for your kind attention. 27 countries in Europe today with 430 million people removed visas. We still have visas. Let me persuade us that it is time we in this continent realize that having visa restrictions amongst ourselves is working against us. When people cannot travel, when people cannot travel, business people cannot travel, entrepreneurs cannot travel, we all become net losers. Check this out. We shall continue the effort of the body administration and infrastructure development. There. I know how many two thousand years later. Of red subsidy. Unfortunately, the budget that have glimpsed before I ask him of me, I would have had that no provision is there of red subsidy. of West of Sydney is gone. You see, applaud for here, applaud for here. Now, which one makes sense to you? You see, we know the thing, we know the reason. Removal of subsidy and you people are clapping. When he has not created an avenue to ease life for its citizen, he don't remove subsidy, which everybody they face now. Between 1999 and 2007, the PDP government initiated petroleum subsidy removal, and I chaired the committee. We achieved subsidy removal in two phases, but only after providing palliatives to those most affected by the subsidy removal. We have the experience as a party and government. That is what we would have done. And
cannot just announce subsidy removal without discussion with the affected sectors of the economy. If you have a toothache and you go to a dentist, there's a difference between removing your tooth by applying anesthesia, which will alleviate your pain, and just pulling it out. The difference is that I believe it should be removed with conditions, and that condition has to be applied. If I was involved, I would have shown in empirical statistical data how much we are going to save, where we are going to apply it, the gains for the people, so they can, just like I said all throughout my campaign, that I'm going to govern the people by being open, showing them empirically verifiable facts on how the country can be better. Life has become difficult. We may even talk about food. I think we should talk about food, which is the most important thing. People are hungry in this country. People can barely eat. Price of food items every day, they go up, go up, go up, go up. We they talk about that one, and yet, President Getman say won't buy a yacht of five billion. I know even they talk about the fraction because it's not just five billion, there's a fraction added to that five billion, which we're going to talk in our next. Just seven for the day.